Hey guys, I just wanted to do a quick tutorial today over um, rich black versus uh, 100k black. On the left is rich black, a square I've already made, and then over here is another square, which is 100k black. Um, and as you can see, this one looks a lot richer than this one. This one looks almost like a charcoal. And sometimes that's desirable, so sometimes you want to go back and forth between these two. Um, my favorite uh, go-to CMYK settings for rich black are 70, 50, 30, and 100. Um, this also ends up being 0, 0, 0 in RGB. Um, but this gets a nice rich black, a little bit cooler um, because of all the cyan. You can change these up a little bit if you need a little bit uh, more of a magenta or warm tone to it. You might play around with your magenta or yellow. Um, and your printer may have different preferences and the substrate you are printing on may be more or less porous and that can change things too. So before you print, if you aren't sure uh, how much percentage of ink your substrate can handle, uh, talk to your printer and ask them, hey, I want to do a rich black, what should I do? Uh, they may tell you 30, 30, 30, 100, um, for instance. So uh, this is kind of my go-to, but uh, just be aware you probably have to ask your printers from time to time what their preferences are. And then if you just want to do 100% black, kind of a nice dark charcoal effect, uh, then you just want to go with this right here. Also, this is great for small text, any text that has serifs that's going to be small, where you don't want that ink to possibly bleed out and leave some ghosting, nasty, fuzzy edges. Uh, which is possible with the richer blacks. So this is better for darker blacks, but maybe not so good on the smaller things or where uh, the material isn't going to eat up as much of the ink and it might possibly bleed off uh, the edge of where your graphic or text is. So I wanted to show you that and then show you what you should do inside of Illustrator to make sure that you're doing this properly. So go up here to Edit and Preferences and appearance of black and then on screen and printing exporting make sure that both of these are set to display accurately or output accurately so normally I think this is the default which is all blacks are rich black nah you don't want that same thing here where output all blacks as rich black nine you do not want that you want to have full control because you're a graphic designer and you know which black you want. So anyway, that's a short tutorial. Uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, hit subscribe, hit like, do all those nice things, and I'll see you in the next video.